I normally just start from one point. There's nothing. I never sketch at all. Not, not of course I draw and sketch, but not like a specific. Now I'm going to build like this. I have always an inner vision how it's going to end somehow, but it's I'm very open for which direction it goes. When I start, uh, it looks like everything has to fit in really. I mean the small pieces, but from beginning it's not like that. You just build very organically, and then when it, you get some kind of whole structure, then you first start to put these pieces in. It's like all the day I think very three-dimensionally. If, if I talk with you about something, then I always visualize in my head. If you tell me that you were somewhere yesterday, then I'm seeing you in a space. It's always like that. It's like a film going on. And that I try to visualize in this house somehow. The pieces I find all over, I mean, I, these trash containers, and flea market, and building materials, you know, when people are renovating houses, then I find them outside these perfect materials, wherever I'm in the city. If I see some good piece of wood when I'm out, then I take it with me always. When you see my houses, people say, and I feel like that also, it's always that you want to go in there, but you can't go in there. It's something mysterious in them because of their sizes. If I blew them up, then they lose that. And this floating idea, it's a kind of a dream. I mean, it's very common in dreams that it's something which is floating, you're flying or whatever. But at the same time, it gives you some kind of freedom because if it's floating, you can move away with this house. I always think my pieces as some kind of small islands. There's nothing to do with that I'm from an island, but it's more like a, creating a territorium that is your island, you know, it's my private space. So it's like with a dollhouse, you, know, you can arrange things there, another reality there. And that's the same there, that you kind of want to go in there, but you can't go in there. But in your imagination, you go in there. The house represents something in itself also. I mean, much deeper. It's like a portrait. I have also other projects where I use much more details in it, decorated inside and so on, but it gives a completely different feeling. I would like to start to work with the maybe cooperation by doing it more like a set, like a setting, like a scenography with filmmaker or something, where my house actually turned into something else again. They reused in another art piece, which could as well be a film or photos or whatever, more like settings. Then again, I mean, it's just to recycle my art. I mean, when it's done, the, when it's over an exhibition, it doesn't matter what I use it for. When you confront uh, one of these houses, then it, uh, something comes alive again, which you had as a child. But uh, as soon as we go to school, then we start to lose that more and more, this, to be present really, like now in this game, because we are trained to become uh, good citizens, productive and uh, create money and uh, build something. I think, I think that is something, not only with my, but with many uh, similar artists, when you meet that suddenly, then you suddenly, that comes up in us, you know, we want to do it again. I remember like a, from childhood, you know, if we were down in the seashore, the one stone here was like Fair Islands, the other stone there was America or USA. There was like three meters between, but when you play there, you're so much into it that you really are there. It's simply there are no norms there. I mean, there's no borders. As a child, we, we lose all that. I think that's what I'm trying to reach in my work, that you somehow experience that again.